Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. By the title, you can see we have a collaboration with Kith and New Balance today. We have the gray New Balance box with New Balance up top. And going around to the label, we have a Kith New Balance 1000 men's size 13. Gray, gray is the colorway. No retail posted along the label area, but these were 160 US from Kith plus $10 domestic shipping in the US made it 170. And inside, you have the New Balance paper, plain paper, nothing really special there. And this particular pair released, I believe, on October 8th of this year, 2024, for 160 US. This is what we are looking at today. Real quick, we have a couple of things that come with the shoe. You actually have two pairs of extra laces. They are laced up on both shoes, so you have one lace here, one lace there of each color. You have a gray style rope lace with a clear tip, or a gray slate tip. You have a nice flat braided style lace with a white tip. This is our clear tip, sorry, clear tip and flat gray tip. And then inside the shoe, you have the flat lace as well in about the same color as the white. As you can see right here, it almost looks like a cream compared to the white. So it might be a slightly lighter or darker hue. This is what we are looking at. The New Balance 1000 in a predominantly upper suede material. There is a little bit of extra fabric going between here. As you can see, this feels more like a knitted sweater material. Almost reminds me of a car seat. A little weird, but that's the best way to kind of describe that material that you have going along the striping area and over here in this panel. There's a little bit more up along the heel and in the back. But let's bring it up close. I have to say the quality, Kith New Balance, they always do an amazing job. Quality on these is really, really good. Colorway for this one is called the Quarry, is what it's nicknamed. And if we take a look at the suede going along the shoe, the laces are on there, so it's going to be a little hard to get them out the way here and there. There is your fabric knitted material, suede going along the lining up to the tongue. You have suede going around these panels. These you see right here are a little bit more of an exaggerated rubbery it's, it's a hard leather actually and this right here is actually an embroidered stitch so different details all around the shoe your new balance is a rubberized clear with two different colors in there you can see the gray faded in the n logo there is a little bit of a like a dune sand taupe i don't think taupe's the right word but it's a very tannish kind of midsole as you can see you have cream over here a little bit of a lighter cream vintage kind of white look at the bottom of the outsole there and absorb and then right there you have the stability for the uh, midfoot so you can see a little bit of a tan darker color than the outsole itself you have absorb on the back 1000 stitched thin new balance across this material panel this and this are also that same kind of knitted material suede going along here suede on the heel area as well and the lining is more like um, a soft towel kind of fabric. I'll get to that in a second. And a little bit more of that detail. This same kind of material is the one you saw up here by the toe box on the lateral side. The medial is the one with the stitching. And if we move those out the way, I can give you a look at the tongue tag up top. Suede going up to the Kith New Balance 1000 logo. You have that sweater style material along the suede on the tongue. And if we go to your lining and insole, you can see we have that nice soft lining and a gray insole with New Balance Kith in that kind of cream tan writing. And if I pick up the other shoe, you can see both are color blocked, the same pattern, the same overall really, really solid pickup. I don't know how much they're doing now over retail. I would recommend buying these for the personal. For me, the New Balance 1000 runs more true to size than large. I find the 990 V3, V4, those to run a little big, so I like to go a half size down. I went true to size with these. That's what I would probably recommend because sizing down with these might be a little too tight. But other than that, let me know what you think of this Kith Quarry 1000. Solid, solid quality. Great release. Easy color to wear with most outfits. I mean, it's a solid gray. It's, it's got some tans in it. So it's, you know, it's got a little bit of color, but they're muted tones, not really colors. So I really think these are easy to pull off as a daily shoot. But be careful where I am right now, literally as I'm shooting the video, it is raining. We have snow coming up in a couple of months or in a month. It depends on the weather here in the Pacific Northwest. But this is not going to do well in this wet weather. So I would be careful where you wear these during this time of the season. I would hold these on to them for probably for spring when the weather's a little bit nicer. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think of these down below. I appreciate you all stopping by today, watching the video, hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around. I have more stuff coming shortly. I thank you all for the support. And I'll see you around the next one. All right.